Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. So, as you can see from the screenshot, we're going to focus on something slightly different today. For the past three months, we've been playing Ingress to try and level up to level 10, which we successfully did a couple of weeks back. At level 10, you can start submitting portals into Ingress, and um, if successful, they can uh, become Pokestops and Pokemon Go and Inns inside of Wizards Unite. Um, so we've got 4 million AP, uh, it's 6 million to get to level 11 and 8 million to get to level 12. At level 12 you can actually start reviewing portal submissions and you can star them and then uh, the most highest rated ones uh, can become portals or uh, Pokestops and Pokemon Go. So we've submitted three already, uh, two of them have become Pokestops, uh, the other one was actually too close to another Pokestop so it uh, wasn't successful in porting across to Pokemon Go. So, as you can see here from the grid, um, now to use uh, S2 cells. So, throughout the world, each um, location has got these large cells. So, this is a level 14 cell. Uh, the higher you go, the smaller the grid gets, and you can get into a kind of really closed position. So, as you can see here, we're focusing on a nearby location from where we live, which already has one Pokestop. So, this is a S14 cell. And then within that cell, we've got smaller cells. So we've got S17 cells. Inside each of these cells, you can just have one Pokestop. Um, so as you'll see from the next screenshot, we've got uh, the one on the right hand side is an existing Pokestop. It's an information board up to Haywood Road. And on the left hand side, we've got St. Oliver Plunkett Church. Uh, it's actually the only active church in Clamel that isn't a Pokestop. So I thought that was a prime location. So. As you can see, we've uh, picked that out and it's in a S17 cell, so it'll definitely become a bulk stop because it's the only one in that area. And then we need the wider area, so we need a view of the S7, S14 cell. So as you can see that here highlighted in the red. So once you've got at least two to five bulk stops in a cell of this range, one will become a gym. So, uh, that depends on votes of the photo inside of the Ingress app and also how many photos um, are taken of that portal inside of Ingress. So, right now the Hayward Road has one photo and one thumb up. So, once we submit the um, Oliver Plunkett one, uh, it becomes a portal uh, relatively straight away after the email has arrived to say it's been approved. And then we can thumb up that and maybe submit another photo or get another trainer download ingress and uh, thumb it up um, so that would become the gym uh, I think the church would be the preference because it's uh, got a car park be handy when it's raining and the other one is near a nearby street so it's probably not going to be the best option so now we go through the process of actually submitting a portal inside of ingress prime so we open up our game click on the menu click on nominations Google Maps appears along with a pin and we're going to find our location so it's the nearby church tap on that now we need to select a photo we can either take one there or we can choose an existing one um so it gives some ideas of what should be eligible we're going to select our photo and um not a bad one cloudy day so we're going to use that and we need another photo from the nearby location so whoever's reviewing this will know that a group of people can congregate uh, for like a raid or maybe in the future special events will be added to ingress so we took a photo from far away uh, just to give an idea of the um, the wish and the depth around the actual Pokestop, our portal. Uh, so we give that a name, so we're going to call it St. Oliver's Church. And then we need to give it a description, which uh, appears in Pokemon Go. If you tap on the uh, Pokestop and then hit, uh, I think it's on the image, and then the description comes up underneath. Um, so yeah, I always thought it was quite odd that this church wasn't added to the game, but um, I suppose Ingress players just never travel up that way or there was no Ingress players in that location. So I think the church was built in 1996. Uh, we just typed it out. It doesn't actually have autocorrect as well, so you need to be quite careful with your spelling here for the description. So once you have the description in, you're just going to review it, review the photo, review the description, and review the location. You can edit those if you want. And now you need to explain why your portal nomination is important and what agents will see there. So you need to give a reason why the reviewer should actually approve the Pokestop. Um, so just say, you know, it's a, it's a nice building. It's going to be nice for people to see it. Uh, maybe see the interior. And then hopefully uh, they will review it and I uh, think it's a good... Uh, location to actually have a, a portal or a pokestop. 
So once you've checked through everything, you can submit it. It can take between two to maybe seven days for someone to see it and decide if it should be a portal or if it uh, is denied. If it's denied, you get an email to say that, but you don't get any reasons, so you can maybe resubmit it or maybe it's just not uh, a candidate for a good portal or Pokestop in the game. Uh, you do get 14 uh, portal nominations in a two week period. So this was actually our last one. So we're waiting until tonight to get 14 more and then we can start discovering Clamel again and see if uh, other items out there exist for a good uh, portal submission and maybe uh, beneficial ones that can become a gym, um, which would be quite beneficial for raid hours our raid days, uh, those three hour periods to keep us in clan mail. So, thanks a million for watching and talk to you all soon.